Here's a very basic water model for you to work with, and uh, it's very functional, very practical, and it's gonna emphasize the right body positioning and the movement on your legs. So uh, I'm gonna start off in this street ichimonji uh, posture. Lead hand is gonna come out, might be grabbing my neck, or it might be some kind of a jab, sort of a hit, or a shove. I'm gonna fall off and tap that out of the way, okay? So, not standing here and trying to knock, I'm actually, body is moving and it's moving because I'm letting gravity move me. So I'm gonna tap and I'm just gonna reach this arm right up underneath as I do that. So if I shadow this, as I tap, I reach up. That may be a little tougher than you think. When I teach this to folks who are first experiencing it, when they tap, they wanna pull this arm in. Okay, so now I'm back to conventional speed. We're using this little trick of natural speed where I actually push that arm out a little bit. Now just by moving up from my shoulder joint and my core, my spine, I'm already in line with the target. So what we're gonna do now is add that second half or the crashing back from that water model. So I'm out of the way, I'm crashing back. As I crash back in, I'm gonna step with my right I'm going to catch right behind his knee and crush that knee to the ground. Now be careful because we can damage the kneecap here. Out on the street, if I were in danger, I would intend to do that. So body straight up and down, putting pressure on that patella, that kneecap, and having it crash down with his body weight and my body weight on whatever surface we might be standing on. Right now, I want you to focus on this idea of this fluid back and forth, water kind of energy and movement. So this is coming in to get me. I'm back and then, oh, I crash back in. I'm back using my knees. I'm crashing back in. Very natural hit, arm and leg moving together. And then gravity just crushing that knee right to the ground. Okay, so. It's very practical, it's very naturally quick, very effective. Be careful, train it with your partner one more time. So I'm back, this is already coming up from underneath. I'm on my way now, I pulled back, I'm rocking in. Hand and foot moving at the same time and crushing that knee right to the ground. Again, I'm gonna caution you, be careful. Okay? If your legs are not strong enough to support you yet, do some strengthening first, because even on this padded floor, you can do damage to that patella and or the knee joint. Okay, so basic water uh, kata scenario for you to practice.